We are here again for another QCAD tutorial. I will simply show you different ways in making isometric drawings. So, uh, if you already know, isometric drawings are simply three-dimensional representation of your figure. So, to make an isometric drawing, you simply just create lines that are angled at a 30-degree angle. So, for instance, if I have this uh, orthographic view here, and then I want to make an isometric drawing of it, the horizontal lines here, this one, and this one has to be represented at a 30 degree angle while these vertical lines here will remain as vertical so let me show you one quick way so i'm using the uh, restrict angle method it is restricted to 30 degrees so my first point let's say would be here and then uh, this will be inclined at a 30 degree angle because it is restricted i simply type 10 because it's supposed to be 10 mm then I position it vertically and type there 20. Position it in this direction, another 10, and I'll close it right here. Just like that. So I can continue on making the, the side view. So this will be 3. Uh, make sure your cursor is placed there. So this is 3. And then this is again um, 20, or place the cursor there, and this is supposed to be 3, there. Then you can simply just go ahead and finish up your isometric drawing. So this is uh, 10, and finally we close it at 3, there. So this will be our isometric drawing. So what about the the circle so one method to make the circle is by using the tool called ellipse and under ellipse you have this uh, tool at the bottom most portion called inscribe in a quadrilateral so to do that we have to create a parallelogram let me first try to do that very quickly So I have here a parallelogram for our ellipse. So by selecting the ellipse tool and then choosing this one. So it says here you have to select the first line. So you select this line and then select the second line. And then the third line. And finally, if you try to put select the fourth line, it will create your ellipse just like this. So the next step is basically just removing the construction line. So we simply just delete those things, these lines, and then we're done with our ellipse. So for this one to, to appear on the other side, because it might have a small uh, arc here, we can simply just copy it. So we can use the copy command, which is uh, this one. So select the item first, copy. This will be our reference point and this will be our second point. So we will just have to keep original and then that's just be cop copying it there. The next step is simply just trim this out. So we will use the trim command which is uh, you can use this auto trim and simply select this so that this will be the one that will remain. So that's one method to do isometric drawing using simply lines and inclining it to a 30 degree angle. I will show you another easier method on how to create isometric drawings.